right. So you are on the hunt for a big electric car that will carry seven people in absolute luxury? Well, you might be in luck because Mercedes have revealed exactly that. This is the all new Mercedes EQS SUV. The EQS SUV is the SUV version of the company's EQS saloon, hence the name. And it's their first attempt at a large electric family car aimed at those who want the nicer things in life. Let me give you the basic spec. It starts under £130,000, it has a battery that will go up to 400 miles, and it is massive. Specifically, it's 5.1 metres long, 1.9 metres wide, and 1.7 metres tall, similar to a Range Rover. Visually, it has the same smooth front end as the saloon, a high ride height, and 21-inch wheels, Sadly, the 22s aren't available in the UK. I really like the front end. It's very distinctive, it's very cool. I really like this cluster of stars and then the main star in the center. Um, awesome digital light system, which I will tell you more about in a moment. And the side has some clever features as well. Come and have a look at this. This is the washer fluid portal, which means that you never actually have to open the bonnet. Also, down here you have a side step which comes as standard with all of the cars which obviously helps get in and out of the car but not only that it also helps aerodynamically by creating less drag and therefore more range okay now let's discuss the doors the door handles will pop out when you walk towards the car with the key when you press the button on the key or when you touch the handles but check this out lights Illumination. How useful is that in the dark? I never knew doors could be so exciting. And also, it doesn't end there. Look, power assist. Ta -da! The light show doesn't end there. The EQS SUV has the usual puddle lights that illuminate the floor and clever laser lights that not only illuminate the road ahead brilliantly, they also produce a light show when you push the power button. Let's check out the boot. So this is the seven seater model. There currently isn't a five seater in the UK. Boot space is not too shabby. You also have this under floor storage where you can store all your charging cables. If you want more space, you can pop these back seats down third row and that will give you 565 litres of boot space. And if that's not enough for you, you can simply press this button here and the second row seats will go all the way down, which will bring you a total of 2020 litres. Not bad, eh? The only thing I would say is I'm not sure about the cream certainly not going to work for me with kids and dogs but on the whole it's not too shabby the interior is beautiful it's really similar to the saloon version of the eqs driving position is nice and high so you get a really good view of the road but also the seats are really adjustable so even if you're not very tall you can get a much better position and it's so comfortable Now the big highlight in here is this optional hyper screen, this big panel across the dash here, which is divided into three screens, one for the driver, the infotainment, and one for the passenger, which is a great one for the kids with movies, Netflix, you can even play games on there. This central screen is where the magic happens, but there are well, very few physical buttons in the car, so it might take a little while to get used to. Literally everything is controlled in there. It's an optional seven grand extra, but if you're spending 130 grand on a car, you're gonna want this. In terms of practicality, there's plenty of space in the EQS. The center console has a hollowed out storage area, which is quite a handy place to put a bag, for example. And there's good storage in both the doors and in the center console itself, which has a pair of USB ports. 
There's also wireless Apple CarPlay, so you never have to plug your phone in, and a really detailed sat-nav with 3D graphics. And now for the back. It's very comfortable, lots of leg room, lots of headroom. You've got these rear seat screens, which have all sorts of different functions. You've got massage, you've got television, you can browse the internet. They're not the only screens because in here, you have a tablet, which you can take on the move. In here, you have wireless phone charging, or you can just use it as an armrest back row. Now you'd expect this to be really uncomfortably small but actually there's loads of space. Not only that but it's got heated seats and four USB ports. It's another win for me. The EQS SUV has a huge battery pack, 107.8 kilowatt hours if you're interested. The range depends on which version of the car you get. The single motor rear wheel drive version has a range of up to 410 miles while both the mid-range all-wheel drive 450 and top-of-the-range high-powered EQS 580 should do up to 380 miles in theory. In the real world, that range will be significantly less. How much less depends on things like how fast you're driving, the weather, whether you're driving on the flat or uphill. But one thing they all have in common is the speed that they charge at. So they charge up to 200 kilowatts, which is enough to take the battery from 10 to 80% in half an hour. Another feature I really like is these illumination bars. So if you're charging at night, you can see what you're doing. And not only that, but once again, assisted door. As for party tricks, this car has plenty. Here are a couple of my favourites. It has rear wheel steering, so the rear wheels turn in the opposite direction to the front wheels to make it easier to manoeuvre. And it also has an excellent Burmester stereo system with Dolby Atmos. So there we go, that is the new Mercedes EQS SUV. I think we can all agree that it is very big, very luxurious, but also pretty costly. But if you have the cash, would you go for one of these? Or would you hold out for the new Lotus Electra? Or even go for the Tesla Model X? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.